Make-A-Wish Alabama and News 19 are partnering up this morning for our Wake Up for Wishes telethon. Yeah, we want to grant as many wishes as possible, but we cannot do it without you at home. And our News 19's Lauren Layden has been here all morning as viewers, you at home, call in with your donations. Lauren, I sure, I'm sure you agree with me. You got a big update for us. Where do things donation-wise stand now? Honestly, Carmen, donations have been so crazy. I don't even know the number we're at now. We'll get to that in just a second, but you know what I'm not hearing right now? Not hearing the phones ringing. You guys, come on, help us out. We're going really, really strong. We had a spell about an hour ago where we got a number of donations, but we are so far away from our $50,000 goal still. So we need your help because each wish costs about $10,000 and our goal is $50,000 so we can grant five wishes. You can see here we've got volunteers ready to take your calls and we actually have multiple ways to celebrate when we do get these calls. We've got the shakers, that's for a $100 donation and then the kazoo here. I'm not gonna make that noise because with the mic it might be a little shrill. This is for a $500 donation. If you make more than that, they'll do both at the same time. It's very impressive. Okay, let's see where we stand now as far as the tally goes. If we can get that full screen up here. At last I checked, we were so close to granting that second wish. So hopefully things are looking even better. They are $27,000, $27,226. Thank you all so much for everyone who's participated. And you can participate in multiple ways. And that brings me to to the Vega family who's very involved with fundraising for Make-A-Wish Alabama. So let's talk about that, the Trailblaze Challenge. That's a different way that they uh, fundraise. Yeah, we've been a part of the Trailblaze Challenge for about five years. Um, I absolutely love the outdoors and it's a perfect match. It really is. Um, we enjoy supporting Make-A-Wish. We will probably always support Make-A-Wish. Um, and that is because yeah. of Tiana, right? Yes. Let's yeah. talk about Tiana. If you've been with us for the past few weeks, you've seen Tiana's story. It just aired yesterday and it, it's on our website if you want to hear more about her. Tell us about her. Well, this is Tiana. She just turned 10 years old. Um, she was diagnosed at two and a half with Rett syndrome. Um, that is a genetic mutation that she was born with. Um, and it has taken away a lot of her abilities to um, like eating by mouth, talking, uh, using her hands, um, walking, um, just a variety of things from sleeping to, to breathing. Um, mm -hmm. she's, she, she lives with a lot of difficulties every, every day. But there is something that you all I love have my little pony. pony. My little pony, she does love my yes, little pony. Yes, you do love my little pony. pony. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, yes you could tell them yourself. I know, Tiana. <laughs> Should have given you a mic. <laughs> so with this, there is something that you guys have learned over the years that calms her down. I'm oh, 10 yes. years old. You're 10 years old, <laughs> yes. Music specifically, but any music written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, she absolutely loves it. Uh, from In the Heights to Hamilton to Moana uh, and everything in between. Um, she, she goes through a lot of struggles every day and when those moments hit her, there's nothing we can do to calm her down except for that music. And that plays into her wish. Let's talk about what she wants to do. Yeah, so her, her wish is to try to go see some Broadway plays, I'm specifically okay. ones that are, uh, you know, written by Lin-Manuel. Um, so looking at going to New York uh, to Broadway and uh, being able to see Hamilton and some other uh, shows out there. Uh, like we said, musicals are, are one of the calming things that, that soother. Um, so hope to uh, get up to New York and see some musicals on Broadway for her. And you guys travel quite a bit. She's got the stickers on her wheelchair to prove yeah. it. But what would make this trip different as far as seeing her in such a cool element? Yeah, for her, I think is um, you know, being able to go on a trip where... For, Things are planned for us. Uh, you know, Make a Wish uh, organization uh, here does that uh, very well. Uh, being on a trip with her takes a lot. You know, it takes a lot of prepping and planning and, and packing. And you know, I think she has the biggest suitcase of us all, uh, with all the foods and uh, medicines and things that we have to take. Um, so being able to go on a trip as a family um, <clears throat> with a little less uh, prep uh, on our part will probably be a, a good relaxation for all of us to enjoy. And you guys all enjoy music together, as we've been told. So, Aaliyah, we've been told that you have a song ready to go to encourage some of these donations. Do you want to sing for us? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Do you need it? Here you go. I'm 10 years old. I love my little pony. When you wish upon a star, makes no Good. 
star your dreams come true. <clears throat> that was beautiful. Thank you so much. And look at the reaction already, you all. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. You're so talented. The whole family is talented, and that's where this whole wish for music came from. So there are multiple ways to donate. So you can send families just like this one on a trip, give them a gift, a memory that will last a lifetime. Look at your screen right now. We've got that QR code up where you pull out your phone, get your camera up, scan that, or text WISHES, W-I-S-H-E-S, -E to 243-725. Again, that's WISHES, W-I-S-H-E-S, -E to 243-725. We've got just over an hour left until these phone lines close. We're trying to get $50,000. Back to you guys.